morning everyone. Today is Wednesday, April 17th. So this morning we have an appointment at a fertility clinic. Right. Mm -hmm. We are going to Seattle Reproductive Medicine in Tacoma. And we have our consultation today. The first of our two consultations because I've set it up at two different places. So we'll see how this one checks out. minutes out from Seattle. There's a lot of people who come here, uh, like artists and concerts and shows and stuff. They uh, perform in this area because of the Tacoma Dome. So Justin Bieber got his laptop stolen. In two miles. <laughs> it's like, it is. It is? Yeah. There was a thing on the news that talked about how he was all pissed off because someone stole his laptop from him when he performed at this dome. Alright, and I'm going to show you what the dome looks like. I don't want to go in. Be fine. I know we're gonna be fine. We're good. We're half hour early. Yeah, I'm we're hungry. Like Twenty minutes early, so we got going. Yeah. So and, um, we gotta go in here. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, we get some sperm. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. So that I mean, it was pretty smooth. It wasn't as like I was nervous because I was scared, like thinking it was going to cost us like a couple grand and it looks like mostly everything is covered mm -hmm. yeah on our, my insurance so the only thing would be like the coordination fee uh, receiving handling and storage, storage is what we have to come out of pocket which is only like less than 500 bucks yep like 400 and but it doesn't include meds so i think if we wanted to do like clomid or something like that then that would come and out of clomid. pocket but we just talked about like my cycles and how we never got a smiley face on an opk so one of the nurses is going to call us and um set up what day 21 a test to make sure i ovulated mm -hmm. And then they want us to use the smiley face OPKs for a week to, or for this cycle to see if we can get a smiley face. And she said some people don't get smiley faces or some people just don't ovulate every month. So and then we have a chance to do a, a mid cycle ultrasound to see if our if your follicles mm -hmm. are forming. Mm -hmm. Thank you, YouTube. All the stuff that we discussed in the, consultation I understood just because of you watching your guys' videos. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't feel stupid at all. <laughs> yeah, I know I after, what she's saying. Yeah. After, follicles and progesterone and like. Mm -hmm. It was too late to do what the three day test because I'm on like cycle day six. When they talked about the if we want we had the option to use a known donor. Mm -hmm. That was 
that was hard to understand. That was the only part where I was like, huh? Like, what's... It would require a lot from our donor. Our donor's end. From... So, um, we we're still gonna discuss, have to discuss, yeah. even with our donor, the, our extra option mm -hmm. to do. Of using but a sperm bank. It seems like a lot more work to do a known donor. Yeah. Not far as legal. he would have to take at least, what, two more trips up here. And then a whole counseling-ish, like, session. Mm hmm So, we have to discuss that. It would be nice to use our donor that we had, but... Um, also we asking a lot of them to make trips up here and mm -hmm. so we're gonna talk about it like with us to see what works best for us and we also mm -hmm. we already have a anonymous donor mm -hmm. online that we've chosen through a cryo through a sperm bank mm -hmm. so just as a backup just in case mm -hmm. I just gotta get testing done and see how this month goes and it looks like we don't have to call our insurance. They'll take care of it for us. I don't, I don't want to call and deal with insurance stuff. But everyone is really, really nice. I have the second place that we're choosing from, too, as well. Mm -hmm. And the second place, that appointment's not till May 9th. So, say, I mean, we could start the testing here, see how everything goes. And if we really like the other clinic... We could transfer all our tests over there, but this place was so nice. It's so nice. Yeah, like the doctor was really nice. They explained everything like very thoroughly. Billing department was even like super nice. Like everyone, oh, the front desk lady. Mm -hmm. Everyone was really, really sweet. Made everyone, like, made us feel very comfortable. I don't mind spending a lot of money there. <laughs> you don't mind spending money there? Yeah. Yeah. I even told her, I was like, wait, so we're not going to spend about two grand? And she was like, no, oh, your insurance covers it. I was like, oh, I was like, you sure? <laughs> yep. Yeah. I just like to be prepared financially. I mean, we, I still want to save a good amount just in case there's any surprises. But it that looks means you could like... buy my MacBook Pro for my birthday. No, that does not mean oh, that. That okay. means we're saving <laughs> until after our insemination and testing. Let's just okay. see. Let's see what happens. But feed me. Let's feed you. Mm. Hungry. Let's go. Come on. What do you want to eat? I don't know. 